What's up YouTube? So um, recently I have been having a problem with this plant right here. This tall plant right here. This one is called Hygrophilia pinatifida. And so like it started um, having really bad holes in its leaf and I was wondering what's wrong like um, after a few days the plant started losing leaves and like every day like a lot of leaves are losing are lo a lot of leaves are getting picked up by the filter and yeah like it was buffling because like I didn't know what's happening like a few days before that it was pretty healthy and then like without warning it just did that like um it's like a switch has been triggered and it just started losing leaves and like tons of leaves so like if you can see on my previous videos this section right here used to be more it used to be thicker but right now it's not as thick as it used to be and it was interesting because like my other plants are doing really well the stem plants are doing really well and um, yeah it's been like an interesting thing so I've started reading about it the first thing that comes into mind is that I thought that some some of these fishes are pulling the or biting on the leaves but like from what I've seen on the leaves the marks they don't look like bite marks and the culprit that I was thinking of are those um, rose line sharks and because I've seen them pull some of the hair grasses that's why the hair grass here never really took off because they just keep on pulling them but like uh, I can see like some parts that are chewed on but that's probably because those are the parts that are already tender and they just see it as food and so I took that out as one of my options so I, I kept reading more and I found out that these this kind of plant is very potassium hungry like it would it would eat it would take in potassium and like uh you're gonna have like a lot of potassium deficiency with this plant with this kind of plant and um and i've been dosing ei method but like the one i've been using is the one in rotalabutterfly.com it's been working well it's working well on my other tanks it's working well obviously on other plants but I think the potassium content on that is not as high as this specific plant needs so yeah like the holes are there the leaves started losing the leaves started like falling off and started becoming more you know like um more transparent so what i did is like uh i've read there's like an old forum and it tells me about it tells people about the um, tom bar method which is basically the ei method as well but like basing that tom bar method with the rotala butterfly calculator for ei I noticed that the, rotal, the Tom Bar method approach with it, when it comes to EI gives the tank more potassium and the Rotala is kind of more conservative and so I started following that for a few days and like for the first few days I didn't really see any significant changes the plants are still losing leaves and I think that there were there was there were more algae growths, especially on those rocks right there. There were more algae growth on that, and I thought I'm doing something wrong, you know. Um, 
um but like after a few days like after like probably like four days four days in actually this is the fi the the last day doing that method uh doing the tomb bar approach and like i've noticed earlier this morning that there's no there's no fallen leaves from this plant right here and i can see new shoots coming out and they look thicker they used to look so weak when i'm following the rotala butterfly <coughs> the rotala butterfly approach and i don't see any filters i don't see any leaves on the filters i don't see any leaves tangled on those plants and thankfully the algae has subsided and i think the algae is okay i don't mind having algae in my tank as long as they're controllable in a way you know but yeah like uh so i think this plant is really that this plant requires a lot of potassium and um because like everything else like uh everything else in this tank are doing okay the other plants are doing well it was doing really well the first few months and i think the potassium ran out because there were more growth on other plants as well but my but my dosage is still the same so i changed the dosage i i added more potassium in the tank and after a few days the results are visible i can see more growth and it's less stressful for me so yeah like if you're interested in getting this kind of plant it is a beautiful plant to be honest and it was growing really well it was growing thick it, it's like it is really stunning but like you have to dose potassium you have to dose extra potassium for this plant if you want it to if you want it to be su successful in um keeping this plant so that's just my little tip for the day and fish out <laughs>